Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we finished off Turnabout Goodbyes, got Edgeworth acquitted of DL6 and the Robert Hammond case. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the little bloopers uh, episode that I, not episode, but just a little bloopers video that I posted um, on Saturday. That was just something that I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun instead of just like pushing all of the Ace Attorney episodes onto you guys. So yeah, um, but I'm kind of excited for this case. I'm gonna get tired of it real soon. I can already tell, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow. Yo. Yo, that is sick. Oh. <gasps> it's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. Man, that was a sick opening. That was super cool. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. Hmm? Oh, well, hi. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow! Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, it only matters who you are! You're the famous defense attorney, Mia F Do I look like a Mia Faye to you? Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey is no, no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait, you're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help! It, it's my sister! <gasps> Maya? Could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. But really? Thank you so much! My name's Emma, Emma Skye. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? What kind of... <laughs> Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right! Is something wrong? No, it's just... You seem kind of... Uh, jumpy. Or maybe you're just... Young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job, at my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. <clears throat> so, what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it! She wouldn't stab someone with a knife! She wouldn't! So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it, she didn't do it! I know she didn't do it! It's a scientific fact! And there's a witness. J just talk to her! You have to talk to her! Right, I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. 
don't you? Uh, yeah, sure can't fault her for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you what I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. Not before I ask her about Mia. My sister asked for her specifically. Mia Faye was a few years below her in school. So she went to the same school as Mia. She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia's a woman? What the heck is at my window? Uh, Mia, yeah, I thought it was a little strange when I saw you too. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Damn, okay. Attorney's badge? That'll make you feel better. See this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. Its composition is mostly silver. The gold plating is, splating, is flaking a bit. She analyzed it. Scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. I give you $50 for it. Sorry, but it's not for sale. Yet. What do you mean, yet? Phoenix, what do you mean, yet? February 22nd, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard? I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. Sorry, ma'am, it's just your sister. What, what was that all about? Huh? Uh, hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? L look I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Y you're a prosecutor? Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean they're just like... Maya and Mia. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? There's something you should know from the start. Which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? No, wait, but the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st at 5.15pm. That's quite that's bleh, that's quite specific. It was in the witness's deposition. I can't speak. A witness clearly saw I, ha! A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car's trunk? Glassy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed as it were. My, my. <clears throat> so, who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Uh, well, it means... 
The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. So, you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by the prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do their job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities, in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible. You wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident, when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, did she? Well, well, why not? I did track him all the way here from the office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was in law school. I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. I excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was top of her class in school. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. Sounds a bit different when Emma says it. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright? I excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say, there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but, Lana! You... You were always this way, weren't you? You never think of anyone but yourself! I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know! So... So how can you say you did? If I lose you... I'll be all alone! I... I hate you, Lana! Mr. Wright? Y yes I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Uh, um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. Right, I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Freaking bitch. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm gonna find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know? I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay! February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So this is the lot where it all happened? Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work! Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying not to stand out too much here, see? What? P partner What? <laughs> Ooh, okay. What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep the dog is tied down, partner. M Mr. Marshall! Ooh. Marshall? Looks more like a sheriff to me. Look at here, bambina. I know how you feel. 
but this is my gang's gold strat, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, and the gold mine is evidence. If you're fixing a mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams are- what? You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? What's this guy talking about? <laughs> You're heading home, home now. Happy trails, Bambina. I love him already. Was that a uh, homebrew a friend of yours? <laughs> uh, kind of. Sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the wild- Who thinks he's a sheriff from the wild west, it seems. Man, I love him. Also, my friend does a really good voice for him. Look, a door! This must learn- this must mean something! I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open! A mysterious lock! I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to all enjoy- la 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 la. You need to learn to enjoy life a little more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Look, a ladder! Aha! Uh -huh, a ladder! Um, that's a stepladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. S scientific huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Look, a ladder! That's a stepladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. What's this, a wallet? Um, excuse me, officer. Oh, wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it! This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. I guess I'm gonna put it in my pocket, I guess. I'm called to duty already, and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling, I can tell what she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now take a look at the court record. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now, let's start examining from every angle. Oh god, wait, oh no. Shoot. What was the- oh no, the controls! No! Are you kidding me? What are the controls for this thing? I think I'm gonna have to use my mouse. Oh no, I forgot how to use this. Anyways, I, I'm gonna have to use my mouse for this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, I'm really stupid. Anyways. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, look, I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out. Press the examine button. Ex examine? Hi. This... this is an ID card. Detective Bruce Goodman. ID number 5842189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess, though I don't see what science has to do with it. It's just an examination. Alright, I'm gonna put my mouse back in the corner. <laughs> Goodman's ID added to the court record. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I gotta be on my toes from now on. Uh, my secret's out. <laughs> my secret's out. I have a mouse. And it's right here. Oh my goodness. I know I keep saying recorded using Desmume on my- in my descriptions, but like... I try to keep it as real as possible, but when there's stuff like this and I just forget how to use the controls, I'm just like... Mouse time? I don't know. Here, a phone! Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything! My ears! No, my ears! Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear it just fine. The phone's broken. Nope, wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> okay, what's that on the ground? Right there. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. The sheriff. Like I said before, this here's our claim. You best be moseying along, unless you're fixing to bat the bullet. Good, <laughs> scary. Could, could you tell us just one thing? Who owns that car? 
Well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red Mustang with a body in her saddle, eh? Please. No problem, partner. Bad time for vittles. Vittles? Vitals, anyway? Get yourself to the saloon up, up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. Might just find you a cer cerveza you lack. <laughs> prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter? Note to self, look up virtu Vittles, Virtues, Vittles, Saloon, and Cerveza. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the High Prosecutor's Office. Wait, but that phone, the phone, the thing on the ground. It looked like a phone. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our claim. Right, great. Wait, so can we not examine that? Right, maybe there's some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna stop here so that the episode doesn't drag on. Because I'm really worried about this episode dragging on. So, um, I guess that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment, or maybe even subscribe. We will find out who this mystery person right here is who said excuse me next time. And I will see you guys. Bye-bye.